This is a podcast. Why do I have headphones? Why are you got so many damn cameras going? Look at this. He's got one every angle. How's my hair, my boy? <laughs> How many viewers we got? One. McCoy Fisher. What are we? Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, the classic, I mean, yeah, I sucked it up pretty bad. I got lots to talk about. All the fish I didn't catch. That was awesome. Well, it took me three days to catch 12 bass, so. You caught 15, though, didn't you? I did. He was one of six people that caught a limit three days in a row. I don't think there was but three. I thought there was like six. I don't think but three caught a limit all three days. I'd have to look back. I don't know. Yeah. And the winner didn't. Maybe there was. But <clears throat> That's yeah, and the winner didn't. That's the winner right. weighed in two on the final day of the class. <clears throat> he weighed in 12. Mm-hmm. That'll probably never be done again. So what are your thoughts? You think, I mean, Knoxville's a great venue. The lake is a good lake. But what? Obviously. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, it is oh, a good like lake. It. <clears throat> but it's the wrong, it's literally the wrong time to fish it. It would have okay. been a good time if the water was higher. See, but it's not going to be higher because oh, that's winter pool. See, I'm going to agree to disagree. It was higher disagree. last time we was there. No, huh? It was higher last time. I know, but they must have got rain or something because you looked at that wet chart. It's, all, it's always low in March regardless. Right. The yeah. water went up. We Tennessee at River, chart. everywhere April Tennessee would probably River. be better. So and They're not going to have the Classic in April. So Here's my take. All right, we were there the last week of March, y'all. Yeah. They're not going back there for Pick a, a lake in the south the last week of March. Any lake, it would have been better. You could throw a dart at a... Out of the map and hit a lake that's better. And here, this is my take about okay. Loud and Telico, you put your boat in, you ride down the lake. Like yeah. it looks good. Right. Like you see all kinds of rock transitions, man made, natural cover, current, channel swings. You got everything. I like like it. Anything you want to fish is there, minus grass. Well I did find grass probably. Oh yeah, there was a little bit of grass, but it I mean it wasn't enough to wasn't a player. Yeah, it wasn't a player. So they're fluctuating water like they have when those fish are trying to spawn. I don't think it's got any bass in there. You think the population's low? I think the population's super low. There's too many high percentage looking stuff on that yeah. place where you're like, I'm going to get a bite, I'm going to get a bite. Especially pre-spawn like that time of year we were there. And you just don't get bit. Yeah. yeah. That just doesn't make sense to me. They just don't live there. It's not got a great population, but it does have big ones. And they, we didn't catch it's them It's got this time. some, yeah. But tennis, relative to the Tennessee River, it's probably at the bottom of the food It's chain. always been that way. Yeah, but what got us this time is the water was low and lower than normal. It was lower than normal winter pool. Like when we were there last year or two years ago, you could see it was substantially <clears throat> higher. I mean, it was yeah, it was like higher eight or ten inches, which is a lot this time of the year. I I just I think I think that time of the year the the water's too low. You've got cold fronts. They just lay around in no man's land. They lay around in the mud. They I don't know. <laughs> I would take it again next year. I huh? you would, that, Mr. That like, 15 Bass. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I would go there next year. Or we can go to Tulsa and drive 92 miles to the ramp and well, go back to the way-in every we day. Just, we got spoiled this year. That's yeah. what I like. That, that, it was a great host, yeah. the way everything that's is what I'm right saying, there. The city and habit there is great. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. But I, I just don't know if, if – I don't think – I think they, they got lucky a few years back because of water, what, for whatever reason – came up you saw that chart it came up like three feet it, the main river had more current and it was yeah. more stained yeah and they still if you look at the the, the cut weight <clears throat> to make day three of the classic in 2019 it was like 20 pounds 10 pounds right. a day right for march that still sucks yeah right yeah, I mean, right. yeah. so and the conditions were like yeah prime when they what about there. going lanier what do you think about lanier? i think march at lanier would be Wouldn't absolutely amazing it would be really really good yeah i mean where could they have it awesome. at lanier where could they have it i mean is there enough why not around Atlanta somewhere? I mean, I mean, we, drive, be, we drive 6,000 miles everywhere else to yeah. get to a Coliseum. Right. Let's see. We've been to Gunnersville. So yeah. before you came, we fished Classic at Gunnersville. Yeah. Yeah. We drove an hour. We had the Classic at Ray Roberts. We drove an hour and 20 minutes. An hour and then two hours coming back. <laughs> yeah, because, <laughs> because of traffic. traffic. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, and then Knoxville. <clears throat> wait, this is our, was this our fourth Classic? Now you had Hartwell. Hartwell. That was like 35, 40 minutes. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't that bad. bad. That's and not then bad. Knoxville was five minutes, so we'll never see that again. Let's yeah. go back to Knoxville. Right. Tulsa next year is 92, 92, 92 miles. miles. That's an hour and a half. At least. No, in traffic, in Tulsa, it's <clears> a lot <throat> more than that. 
So where's another good place? So Lanier so would be good. Rent so we need, we need we're going to rent a house on, to, on if we make it. We're going to rent a house on the lake and yeah. stay there instead of in Tulsa. Charlotte would be a good host. Is but, the fishing good that you, time of the year? It's not, yeah, I mean, for Norman standards, it would yeah. be like the yeah. Red Crest, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, everybody caught 10 to 12 pounds, you know. If you caught 10 to 12 pounds yeah. of Loudon Teleco, you was in 10th place. Right. <laughs> oh, they caught them pretty good. I mean, some guys caught 17. Yeah, there were some yeah. 15, 16 pound bags. What about Dallas? Ever? I mean, they did they did Ray Roberts. What other lakes in Dallas could do it? They've done Conroe, which is Houston. That yeah. was a nightmarish drive for those guys. Right. Somebody's phone's playing music. Yeah. <laughs> Could you hear it? <laughs> it was Chris Brown featuring Drake. Here we go. I thought I heard something real low. Huh? What oh, Murray? We're sitting at Lake Murray. So if we Anybody's were wondering, if, I know if we had the classic here. Yeah, March on Murray. The way it's been fishing the last couple of years, you're talking about ten, twenty pounds top ten. Yeah. Where would the host city be? Columbia, I guess. Yeah, be Columbia. So when the cup was here, where was the... Come on, uh, Miriam. Miriam, she's in charge of all this stuff, so she needs to, like, get with Bass and have a bid for a classic. Miriam. Oh, you know the Visit Lake yeah. Murray people? Right. Yeah. yeah. They sponsor the uh, yeah. the U.S. team. Yep. Yep. Well, what... I know. Uh, we'll have to, but, we had to get that going. Yeah. That would be a good one. Yeah. It really would. Um, we could stay here There's in never house. been a classic in Columbia, I don't think, uh, has there? Not that I'm aware of. High Rock Lake in North Carolina. Too small. Too small. That lake's too small. Yeah. For 50 boats? Yeah, I think it's too small. So so drop some comments. Everybody watching this, drop some comments and let us yeah. know. Because I'm sure Bass will want to read all these comments, too, of some great lakes. Now, keep in mind that you have to have a host city that can facilitate. Within an hour. Yeah, within an hour that can f- facilitate the Bassmaster Classic. Which is I'm like, having a hard time talking. I'm hearing myself, and it's weird. Yeah, 200 exhibitors. Minimum, uh, well, I think. About what was, I got I got the, the note. What was the – we set an all-time record. 160-something thousand. Over 166,000 166, people attending it. So that's pretty amazing. It was like 66,000 the first day at Blastoff. And I did – what? <laughs> there was a, <laughs> it was a lot. Six, they, were on the, 6, they were on the bridge. 6,000. There were. It was crazy. Yeah. So yeah. I heard a stat, and I don't know which classic it was. It was in this year, last year, maybe two years ago, that you know what it brought into that city? What? Thirty-one million dollars. Really? Well, yeah. Think about it, though. The money they were charging at those hotel rooms. Well, I mean, <laughs> that was thirty-one yeah. million there. That was like six hundred dollars a night. night. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, like, no doubt. But if you think two hundred exhibitors, you know, the staff, the families, right. the anglers. Yeah. I mean, that's. I was thinking like maybe ten million dollars. Right. But thirty-one million. No, that's a big deal. It's a big deal for any city to get the bid for the Bassmaster Classic for sure. So again, drop some comments. Let us know some cities you know that would be a good good lake around some good cities that would be a good option. Where have they had it in Florida? Ever? Toho. Remember? Didn't Luke Clawson win it? Oh yeah, yeah. They did. Long time. Like ago. that's the one that you ne- like. It's Kiss kinda, me. It's kind of it's kind of an interesting thing. I can remember a lot of classics. I can remember all the different classics, and and there and there's footage and pictures, and you see things, but like. I hate it for him, but when he won the classic, <clears throat> after that I never saw. I haven't seen a picture of Luke with the Cla- Bassmaster Classic trophy. I haven't seen a rerun. I haven't seen a picture. You hadn't you heard. Watch. You hadn't. I never <coughs> seen anything. You know, he's won a Forest Wood Cup and yeah, a uh-huh. Bassmaster Classic. Uh-huh. But isn't that weird? Like, I mean, like when, when, like everybody in the world probably forgot they actually had one at Lake Toho. Shaky head and fish off the bed. Really? What? Yeah, he was using a shaky head. He could said he could feel the shells. I thought it was like a big Texas rig. Mm-mm, I think he was shaky head. Shaky head in Florida? Mm-hmm. He likes shaky head, and he beat me at the Forestwood Cup. I finished second to him. He was I thought shaky that was Brent Ayler. No, Ayler won it the next time. Oh, Ayler, won, Ayler won it the year they were the bracket format. Yeah. That's right. I don't know if people remember that, but on the Forestwood Cup, there was, was about, awful. what, five, six-year window? Four. They did that? First fished against 50th. <clears throat> Or forty eight. I remember. Second I remember. FLW saying it's going to be like a basketball. It's like a basketball bracket. It was like NCAA. It's like yeah. March Madness. Yeah. But the problem was is that everybody had their strengths on different lakes, so it yeah. didn't really match up well. Right. And I yeah, got, that's not that's not a well. You could beat one person. You could beat forty five anglers. Yeah. 
and get put out because one right. guy beat you. Right. Right. The first two days when uh, Ayler won, the first two days, I called him good. And I beat whoever I was in the bracket with like by a lot. I think I had like 12, 13 pounds a day, which was good back then. I had 14. I had 28 pounds. And, and then I went against Dudley, and I had only 10 that pounds. That was August. That, yeah, I had yeah. 10 pounds even, which is still a decent bag. And Dudley had like seven or eight pounds two days in a row and beat his guy. He catches 10 pounds, 11 ounces one day and knocks me out of the tournament. And he went on to fish in the finals. And he, I think his total weight for four days was like hardly anything. I mean, he had like eight, 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 and ten. Yeah. I, I think – I'd have to go back and look, but I think Jay Yellis had like five more pounds than Ayler, who won the tournament, if you added all the days. Oh, up. wow. Yeah. So we just got in. We're at Lake Murray, third stop of the Bassmaster Elite what Tour. A, what a house. What a place we have. Dude, this is cool. Roger Medlock, a good buddy of both Matt and I – um, Matt's known it for a long time. I had no idea. Matt got here, and you're like, <laughs> I did, dude, I didn't Roger, know what's that's up? We were staying at. Yeah, he's like, I've fished with Roger for all these years, like 20 years. So I've known Roger a little bit. Matt knows him a lot better, and uh, through the Freeman family and over there in Charleston, you know, with the boats and stuff. So he offered us to an opportunity to stay here, and it's been awesome, this is dude. unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I wish y'all could see it. We the saw best it in the view daylight. we've ever had in a tournament for yeah. sure. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's it's nice. It's very nice. So, it's it's uh, it's April. The fish should be spawning. Still, yeah, they blasted them last week. Yeah, they've, oh, been, they've been spawning yeah. there for at least should have be some weeks. left over. Heron spawn, maybe I guess they blasted them. I yeah. mean, I can't wait to see them schooling, blowing up. I know, throw a big top water. I, I mean, it's going to be fun. This I've got week. twenty rods rigged up, and that's the <laughs> thing. It's like you, you know, start. This is a unique. So every lake we go to has different options, right? But this one, this one is is really interesting because it has herring fish option, sight fish option, just going fishing fish option. Probably a shad spawn. Shad spawn up the river, mm-hmm. fishing up the river, docks, fishing. I mean, you can do everything. There's probably yeah. fish on cane. I mean, if you ran just enough cane, you'd probably catch a decent bag of fish. And and it's one of those lakes, and you know this more than I do. It's one of those lakes that it could be one. Anywhere on this lake, it's like it reminds me of Norman. It fishes in sections, and like you have to figure out what section's firing, yeah, or where the potential is. What section you want to fish? Well, how you want to? Because you can change. I mean, it may be. Yeah, yeah, but 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 what I'm saying is like certain sections just won't have the potential to win this time of year, right? Based on how far along or how far behind the fish are, right? Right. So so yeah, different areas of the lake will be doing different things, different water temperature, etc. Yeah, Norman's like that. Like it could be one, you could win a tournament up the river one weekend. Next weekend, you go back and fish those fish, and the guy on the lower end wins. Yeah. And it's very conditional too, right? right? Weather and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, wind, um, clear water, and wind are your friends. So, yeah. there's so many big arms in this lake. You know, big giant. There's there's like Drew Island, and then there's yeah. the that uh, the, the Shoal Creek, Island, and Bear, all, and Honey, or whatever that thing is on the other side. And that wind blows, and it just moves water around different uh-huh. different places. So you get updwellings of cold water where different sections of this lake will be a five or six or eight degrees cooler or warmer. That's unbelievable. Yeah, crazy. Really, really crazy. So I'm excited about getting out there, man. I mean, I need a good finish. You know. should, be, should be good. Fishing the, should the, be good. This lake's been fishing good for the last, like, three years. Yeah. yeah. So it's in a good cycle. Uh, weights are going to be good. Fish are healthy. Who was, what was the last tournament here that we fished? Forest what, Wood Woodcup, probably. Forest Wood Cup, like five, Justin six Atkins years ago. One. Yeah, seven years do you, ago. Do you remember that one that we fished whenever, whenever we were at blast off down there by the dam, and that morning you could see the lightning off. It was still dark. We're at the we blast blasted off. off from the dam. Well, down in that pocket in that in yeah, that big Michael that? Bennett won it. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the Force 2008. Cup. This wasn't the Force Wood Cup. This is a rare oh, tournament. I only fished half the tour that year. I didn't fish the cup. 2008. Michael yeah. Bennett won it. Yeah, but yep. I'm not talking about the Force Wood Cup. Yeah, it was Force Wood Cup. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm you, not talking about that. Talking I'm talking about, about a regular season about a cold, Was it cold? Anthony won it? I think so. And then, it was uh, like March or April. Yep, yep. It was a sight um, fishing deal. S- oh, if it was sight fishing, that wasn't it. We fished out of there, we, too, for that Force Wood Cup. Well, but I'm saying we had a full field tournament. We took off that morning, and it was dark when we got down there to the boat ramp, and lightning was, you could see it lightning off on the left. But fish side. were spawning. I, I can't remember. I just remember a storm coming, dude, and, and they called boat one, and when we got to the, you know, the mouth of that big creek where the islands are, 
lightning and stuff was hitting those islands and 50 mile hour <laughs> winds and hail. People were just spin, spin, splitting off and jumping on the floor of their boat, dude. I stopped my boat and got down underneath my console. That was the cup. No, it wasn't. You started in there on that boat ramp. Nope. With those all those fishes <laughs> on that boat ramp. You think so? Think I it was a and flooded. <laughs> Because I tried to start there, and you beat me to it. There were so many fish on that boat ramp. It was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. It was like a 40-pound I've bag. I've never seen it. Dude, I'd take on out. One boat ramp? Yeah. Listen, I'd wow. take your boat out or launch your boat, and they would scatter. And when you when you back, when you you back pull the trailer out, these big, large mouse, like four to seven pounders just come right back up there. Yeah. And they were herding these little. Little white minnows. Yeah, they were, like, they were, like, they were like white bass. But yeah, they were, yeah, yeah, they were little white bass. I caught one. I caught yeah, one. They were little white bass. Yes, Dude, they were little white bass. You would hook bass. one? Little baby white bass. Hey, yes. These, guy, these guys were brim fishing. Like They were catching them, and when you'd hook one, one of them six or seven pounders would get it, and they'd break them off every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And you could sit there and watch them. It was crazy. Yeah, you could catch them with live bait, like right there by them. Throw them and they'd eat it. I had three by the big jig in practice, and I said, "I'm gonna catch. I'm just gonna come here and catch them." But he yeah. was sitting there on the ramp. I didn't get yeah. to fish it. <laughs> There's like five of us tried to start there. Yeah, that's crazy that that many of you figured it out. Yeah, you could see them. You put oh, it you in could there. Just you see them sitting yeah. there, and they would actually bite. Well, it was tough, but yeah. you could make one bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. If they ever like, they would sit there, and then like. Maybe every twenty minutes or thirty minutes, one would run up there and eat one of those little. There were there were definitely little stripers, like little. They silver. would eat one of those little stripers. Yeah, and when they did, if you threw in there, you'd get a bite. Yeah. You know, they were just. Like and then any other time frenzy. you wouldn't. Yeah, huh? like schooling fish. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, weird. I've never seen that. Man. I've never seen those little striper looking things either. I'm gonna go back and look there tomorrow. I know. I forgot all about that. I asked you what ramp it was, but you changed the subject. Oh, <laughs> it's Mid Lake. <laughs> <laughs> That's about dead in the middle of the lake. It's it wasn't like on the tip. It was down from yeah. it in one of those little pockets. Yeah, or up river from there. Really, a public ramp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's in that is. pocket. It's in that big pocket. It's in that pocket. Big pocket. That pocket. Yeah. It's in that big pocket. Mid lake. Hot pocket. We we'll call it hot pocket. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. You don't know what a hot pocket is? Come on, man. Yeah. That's a pizza. good one. I like the pizzas. <laughs> the pizza one. The pizza ones are good. <laughs> People are going to watch this podcast broccoli. and go, I am never going to waste 28 Ch- minutes on this Chicken, junk broccoli, again. and cheese. Hot pocket. How long have we been talking? Lean pocket. Uh, 20, 20, 20. Well, he's got to edit like 12 of it out. Yeah. Yeah. They make a lean pocket. Do they? Yeah. That's kind of gross. Well, that's what you need to be eating. Uh, I just, Iron Man. I'm going to eat no pocket. <laughs> So, so we're gonna cook this week. We've got. The, he's got a trailer out there. We don't have to use the travel trailer. Yeah, the travel travel ones. How many still miles are on that thing? I want to add it up. I think. All right. So, keep what, what do we do? What do we do a year for travel? Twenty five, thirty. So thirty thousand. All right. So thirty thousand times. How many years I've had that? I've had that thing for at least what the little five the little trailer? Yeah. For at I least think five I've years. cooked in like twelve or thirteen different states on it. Yeah. <laughs> So I mean, there's I think there's two or three hundred thousand right. miles on that grill, and it's never not worked. Other than when we had those bad pellets, was what the problem yeah. was. The pellets got moist. They are, got you, wet. Are, you, are y'all rating your grill on miles? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like tires, trying to follow. Here. It's like, I think you'd rate. There's it on an maybe engine like in there hours. that cooks everything, <laughs> dude. You got to keep track of that stuff. Is it cooking the whole time you're driving? Yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is. It is. Camber, what are you doing over there? I was looking at a text, but it's okay. <laughs> so we've got a black stone right there. And believe, talk, speaking of flat tops, because that's kind of a hot thing right now, Traeger just came out with one. I don't have it yet, but they have a flat top right now. Are those things like trending now? I How come you don't have one? I had not, They just hadn't sent me one yet, so I don't know. <laughs> Tell them to send two. I will. All right, if you're listening, Traeger, send two. But I want to try send those out. Two. We could do a hibachi. So we should should that we would bring? Be awesome. Can you eat that? I guess we could bring two of them. Just take the legs off and just lay, leave it flat, and then put the other grill on top of it. You could lay it in the boat. Yeah. yeah. You lay it in the Florida boat. You can leave that workbench at the house. What? Yeah. It's not been getting much use anyhow. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna get up in the morning and get this practice underway. Three days to figure it out, man. Yeah, it so, should be good. South yeah. Carolina swing. We it's got Santee Cooper next week. Yeah. That's going to be really good. I that was going to be that's going to be tricky. That was going to be tricky. Yeah. yeah. I think there's not going to be much left on the beds. No. Shad spawn. 
Yeah, but shad spawns suck because they last. Because you got to run forever and a day around that place, and they only last yeah. thirty minutes. Yeah. Now, shouldn't there be a good fry, ba- you know, fry garters and stuff? Shouldn't there be a bunch of that? I think. Around the cypress trees on the wacky worm, that should be a, still a really good bite, right? I think. Just hit all the shade. I've never been there this time of year. This late. Is the water up there like it's up here? I imagine. I might it's lock, up I might, at, hey, I might lock it's up at Hartwell and everywhere else. Can you lock at the Cooper? I don't know. Can we lock? I don't yeah. think so. Well, I'm, I'm not going to lock in the Cooper. I River. bet you we can't. It'd be good if we could. See, the last time we were there, the water was down on the lower lake, what, two feet? Matt's talking about locking. Boy, he's getting risky this year. Dang. Well, you ever man. locked before to another uh, lake? Um, yeah. uh, fake the, real the classic, he went to another lake this year. That was a pretty big move yeah, for 14, Matt. 14 years, 15 years. This is my 15th season. I don't know that I've ever locked. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Hold on a second. 2005, my first year as a co-angler on the FLW Tour, I locked a couple times that you year. Locked it it wasn't, wasn't You've locked at Toho. You've locked at Toho, surely. <laughs> huh? You've locked at Toho. Or, uh, I did. Yeah, yeah Toho, I did lock sure. at Toho. Yeah. I went to Kissimmee one year on the FLW. Yeah. yeah. Went down there and fished that, uh, what's that bay called in Kissimmee that everybody goes into, that North Bay or whatever Yeah, North Bay. North yeah. Bay. Yeah. Yep. Caught them on a prop bait. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Prop bait. All right. Well, I think it's ready for bed. Yeah, what do you I've, think? Been, I've been yelling the I think whole time. We're done. We're done. I, pro- I will say this: this is our first little podcast. This is really more of an experiment to see if this stuff even worked. Um, we're going to do this more often, and we're going to do a better job at it for sure. So, I'm beating. We might long, do it live. Long drive. Yeah, Take me. some questions. Yeah. Two hours and six minutes to get here for me. Two hours and six minutes. Listen to it. Two hours and six. This minutes? is like his home lake. It's my house. This is like his home. What lake. is your home lake, by the way? Uh, Murray Moss Lake. <laughs> he used to fish BFLs here, <laughs> and he really knows this place. I fished. It's, y'all have him on your fantasy team, guys. <laughs> I fished this lake, um, probably fifteen times in my life. That's a lot, maybe roughly. We we, we and, fished and, here in FLW probably. That's about like me with it. Me, I, you six follow or seven probably times. twenty times because I fished a few times in high school. So, but I've never been here when we're here right now. Right. Okay. I have been here. All the BFLs. None have, of us have ever been here in 2023. Yeah. <laughs> when we're here right now. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. <laughs> all the BFLs I ever fished were were pre spawned. They were February, like early. How you March, catch them in February? Jig. I caught them on jig. Some jig. guys, some guys catch them cranking. I caught a big one. Uh, we were here one time, one tournament, and you know some of those points have those big rocks yep. and stuff way out there deep. Yep. And I had a three quarter ounce football jig, and I was almost vertical. I mean, I was just chunking it out there, a little half cast, and just kind of dragging it over yep. things. And I thought I was hung up in the rocks, set the hook with like a six, six or seven pounder. Dude, caught it in the tournament. I like to fish like that that time of year down here, but if the wind blows, back to being conditional, you can yeah. go up crank and catch it. Right. That's how a lot of them big bags been caught. Yeah. Hmm. This year and last year, pre spawns cranking. All right. Good night, y'all. Thanks for watching. First ever podcast. What's the name of the podcast? It's going to be called, uh, what'd you call it? I didn't call it anything. I thought you had a good name a minute ago. No, that was Matt. Oh. What'd okay. I say? I don't know. Wanna be Let's Talk Fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, drop a comment down below and let us know. That would actually be a great way of us figuring out. You have to have a way to sign us off. You, got, you gotta sign us off. Like you gotta have No, sign. you do it. Go ahead. You're good at this. No, I mean, I'm like, more I, like a I'm I more like a, a reality. I have a way to sign it off. <laughs> hey, so this is my podcast. podcast. This is your podcast. But, but just come up with a new one. Show me how it goes. Bam! <laughs> Isn't that what y'all do? Isn't that what y'all do when you end a YouTube show? Did you bend your wrist when you did it? <laughs> Bam! Yeah, if you bend your one. wrist when you Bam, did it, I did, that's not here. how we did it. Okay? How do you do it? How do you do it? It wasn't a bent wrist. Bam! <laughs> <Yeah>. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>